Hi, and welcome to MSA TV. My name is Eric Buzzard, and I'm the North American Product Sales Manager for Thermal Imaging. I'm here to talk to you about our current product line of thermal imaging cameras. Right around 2002, we launched a small format camera known as the Evolution 5000. And since then, we've launched several models that have just fallen kind of in the line of the, with that package that we had. The package is, is noted first and foremost by our patented dual handle design. We're the only ones with a patent on that dual handle design. Brands X, Y, and Z, when they, when they put that handle on, they, they're just trying to match us. We're the only ones who got the patent. First piece of it is this rubber handle on the front side. This is the same rubber compound that we use on the face pieces for our breathing apparatus. It gives a couple things. First off, heat resistance. As you're using the camera, this is the first line of defense to protect the rest of the camera and the, all the electronics that are on the back end of it. It's got to get through that fire rated rubber first and it's not going to get through there. Another thing it does is because it's so pliable, let's say that you're using it and you're crawling as the attack and you're searching the room, as you're crawling along, that handle is going to bend. So you don't have to worry about your weight cracking any of the plastic. That handle is going to give, give with you as you're crawling. Another thing that dual handle design does is, let's say you're the first line of attack, you're on the hose line, you see something, you need to use your hands. Let's say you're, it's a rid operation, you need to rescue someone. You can slide the camera up your arm, your hands are now free, and you can actually get your work done. And actually, if you, if you do it the right way, you can bring the camera over like that, you can still use the camera and still keep your hands free. So the dual handle design works perfectly for your firefighting applications. And quite frankly, it works well when you're using for law enforcement as well. Another thing with our camera, the design is the weight and balance of it. There are going to be some folks out there who say that they can set their camera down and not have to worry about it rolling away or anything like that. Well, we would rather have a camera that's balanced perfectly to work in your hand. A lot of cameras that are out there that don't have the handles, you've got to hold it kind of like this and, and you, you eventually, your wrist is kind of bent. No other way to put it, your wrist gets bent. And from that, after a while, your wrist will get fatigued. The way our camera is designed, as you hold it out in front of you, it is perfectly balanced in your hand. Your arm comes straight over and the camera goes straight up. So as you're using the camera, it's perfect. It's a natural feel for using the camera and you don't have to worry about your wrist getting fatigued at all. The other thing too is a lot of cameras out there, it's hard to tell which, which way you're looking into. The big display on the back side, but also it's just that point and shoot. If you notice the design of the camera, how it tapers towards the front, just like a gun. You're little kids, you played cowboys and Indians. You knew where to point the gun. That's how this camera is designed. You have a large three and a half inch, true three and a half inch display. I say true three and a half inch because there are some out there, they have a three and a half inch display, but then they throw in some masking that crops the edges of the display. And you usually get something that's more about a three inch display. It's a true three and a half inch diagonal display. It is extremely bright. When you turn it on, you can use it. In fact, we've heard a lot of firefighters say that sometimes They'll use their camera, turn it around backwards, and let the backlight lead the way for them. So, extremely bright, very easy to see, crisp, clear imagery on that. The location of our battery is pretty unique. There are a lot of cameras out there that either have the battery located exposed on the bottom side of the handle, or it clicks into the front part of the camera. Well, we know, heat plus battery, they don't play nicely together in the sandbox. You don't want that kind of design. With our camera, I wish I would have grabbed that. With our camera, the battery is slid into the to the inside of the, the battery slid into the handle. Now if you look inside here, you can see there's some gray plastic and some black plastic. These are both fire rated plastic, heat resistant. So you have two layers of fire rated plastic protecting the battery from the heat, plus your rubber fire rated handle on the front side. Heat isn't going to get to this battery. So you're going to get a true 2 hour runtime, if not more, from our battery. A lot of the other guys out there they're going to tell you you're going to get a 2 or 4 hour runtime. But that's before you introduce heat. Their batteries are exposed, the heat hits it, becomes a heat sink, you lose runtime. Ours, you're gonna get a true two plus hour runtime out of that battery. Staying with that battery, we have a lithium ion battery. And a lot of folks out there, they, they don't like lithium. They're afraid lithium batteries are gonna explode. It doesn't happen, folks, because it's hidden inside the handle, the heat doesn't get to it, it's a completely safe design. And because it's lithium based and not nickel based, you don't have to worry about conditioning the battery. You don't have to worry about losing runtime or having a memory develop. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's, a, it's truly a maintenance free battery that we have. And if you look at the design itself, this is a commercially available battery. A lot of the camera manufacturers that are out there, they have a proprietary battery. If you don't have that battery, you ain't gonna be able to use the camera. With ours, it's a commercially available battery. So 
that is a, that, that's a, an overview of the design of the camera. Let's look at about let's look at what's on the screen itself. Now, one thing you'll notice, each model that I have up here, all four of them, they're all designed the exact same, and they're all going to operate just about 100% the exact same from one another. Each camera has several things on the display. When you're in high sense mode, which is your lower temperatures, your best image quality, the on-screen symbology is green. You have a temperature bar graph on the one side, you've got a digital temperature readout, and you've got the little dot crosshairs in the middle. It's all green. That lets you know that you're in that lower temperature environment. When you kick into that high sense or low, low sense mode, where your higher temperatures are, you notice a few things. First off, all the green symbology turns to blue. Second, that bar graph, instead of going from zero to 300 degrees, goes from zero to 1,000 degrees. And finally, in the bottom left of the display, you're going to get a little blue L. That little blue L is going to let you know that you are in low sense mode. When the temperatures are elevated to the point where you're in low sense mode, your, your decision logic changes because of that. Now, with our camera, when you switch from high sense to low sense, we have the best sensitivity in low sense mode. And if you check all the specifications that are out there, they're all going to show you that in high sense mode, they have this great image quality, but no one talks about the low sense. When heat gets really high, our camera is going to give you an awesome image. You're going to, you're going to lose very little detail, if any at all, when you switch from high sense mode into low sense mode.